What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Happy Halloween, even though this is going up the day after Halloween, so just kind of rewind your life a little bit and pretend like I said it to you on the actual day. But we're perhaps doing the one of the spookiest things I could do on Halloween, and that is doing Rank 1 Survivor gameplay. Um, I don't actually enjoy playing at Rank 1 that much because you, you get a few different scenarios. It's either just people, uh, your teammates DCing a bunch or, you know, sandbagging you or messing you up, or the killers just kind of face camping you it happens quite a lot at rank one but i figured we'll go in we'll rock the dwight fucking absolute gucci outfit he's got the he's got the uh the versace uh, pocket watch in there right there that's that about 50k right on right on him right there he's got his lunchbox ready to go to school radioactive by the way that's another 30k and then he's got the the fucking uh the what are these called versace versace lenses on him and those are those are gonna run him up another bit he is he is swagged out to the max uh this is one of the only outfits that was created for survivors for the Halloween event because I know survivors get a bunch more outfits than uh, killers do usually. So Dwight got one, so did Claudette. I think Dwight's looks much better. So we're gonna run in there. Um, looking at looking at my loadout, these aren't the perks I'm gonna be running. I was thinking of something to do, but then I then I accidentally just decided not to not to do what I was doing. So my perk run out I usually go is adrenaline will make it, life and self care. But we're gonna run the the Hallow's Eve lunchbox. Uh, maybe if we do another game, we can we can rock the Will O Wisp uh, little spooky flashlight. You know what? Actually, let's rock the spooky flashlight. I ain't no bitch. Let's go in here. Uh, we'll do, run double battery on it and then run another pedal. So maybe we can get ourselves a final piece of a of a killer outfit before this event is over. So let's hop into a game. Hopefully, we're able to survive. Oh no! Oh, why am I recording this? Okay, guys, this is gonna be fun. The person is running a Mori, so rest in peace to us. All right, guys, we're playing on Shelter Woods now. I've I've been getting a lot better, I think, as a survivor. Um, from when coming back from my break of a long while, I've I've started. I've been playing more consistently. That looks like Leatherface. Um, the past two months or so, I've kind of been more consistent playing. I only have about 300 hours in the game, so I definitely have stuff that I could work on for movement and such in the game, but I think at least that I'm getting So it's Wraith. Okay, I thought I thought it was that looked it looked like Leatherface. Maybe that Maybe that was just a thing of my my teammates going through. There's Is this uh this is the they have the, the add on to where the bell you can't tell where it's coming. Are they just a they hit the person and then they go into invis and change them. The amount of bells that are going on is actually crazy. Um, that guy got destroyed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do some gens. I'm not near my team, but if we're in an instance where we're closer to our team, we'll be able to try to use the, the little flashlight because it's, it's spoopy and we might be able to blind them, which would be pretty, uh, pretty good for us. Um, okay, this person's got kindred, which is pretty solid. Hopefully the wraith doesn't come for us. That would suck. Um, that person's gonna go over there, and then we're gonna get help out right here by our man. Is this Jake with this beanie on? I have no idea. But well, we'll get this first gen done. Then we'll probably look for the goop. The goop needs to get got. We we'll need to get that though. But I'm definitely gonna continue playing this game. I want to level up all the characters, and then eventually get all of the survivors and all of the killers, because I have really just enjoyed myself playing this game recently um this guy is getting destroyed by the way so when is he getting morried is he getting morried is he debating is he just slugging him let me let me see if he's slugging him or not or if this guy's getting chased we can go for a big play if he's Coming over here. We can help our boy out. We don't want him to die. That's for damn sure. Because if this guy is running an ebony, then that is no bueno. And he would be dead instantly. I don't know if this was the guy who got hooked or if the other guy is. And if that's the case, then he's getting tunneled to shit, which is no bueno. Let's get on this bad boy. We have leader um, active from the, from the Dwight, which is really good. And that person is down. Let's see if they get morried. 
I don't remember off the bat who, uh... Okay, no, they're getting picked up. I think the best way for... To get points with Mori is to still hook him twice. So you can use, like, all of your different hooks. And then Mori him at the end. But I understand if they didn't know. So, okay, so the other person was hooked first. So they are on the basement hook. And we are... <laughs> All on this gen, the Dwight has left. It was really nice when that person had uh, Kindred. Because that makes it really, really easy when you're playing not with friends. And you're able to find, you know, just where your teammates are on the map. Because, you know, if you're playing Survive with friends, obviously having good communication is always a must. Looks like I saw the Wraith over there. Very briefly. We haven't been able to locate any goop, which I'm a little upset about. I popped a pedal, and I know other people did too. They got pulled off the hook. Just uh, sab in this totem, just in case no ed, obviously. Any totem that comes around. Oh, here's a goop. Oh, rest in peace, Krauser. That's a feels bad, man. We're going to use this goop. It's obviously better when we have multiple people on it, because it goes faster and you still get a lot of points. Um, I should really try to just be closer to my team. Next time, if they actually end up uh, do going down again, I can try to go for a flashlight save on them. That would be really, really beneficial in my behalf. But right now, we've done we've done two gens. That's kind of the the duty we're on. What's up, uh, brother? Hey, hey, I see you. I can save you. There we go. Nice little heal. This would have been a nice time for the for the med kit, but it, it appears this guy has. Sloppy Butcher, which sucks. Oh, God. Run away. Oh, no, that sucks. So he's silent, Wraith. Let's see if we can... He didn't go for me? Fuck, I gotta, I gotta sprint to this guy. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Shit, teammate's dead. I can't get him. That's really unfortunate. Damn it. I should have went way sooner. I should have beelined it there. Let's heal this guy. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, nurses calling or something. But he's running the, the Wraith Drip Too Hard outfit, which is a pretty solid outfit in this game, I think. Alright. Go ahead and run, brother. I don't think I'll be able to heal you full. So we're going to go to try to run around and save our boy. It's our first hook. Hopefully they don't have barbecue and chili and just know where I'm at. I don't want to farm this person. Having Will make it is obviously a great perk to have, especially Sloppy Butcher. But there was a, a heal nerf recently. So that, that doesn't help out either. Is he ding-donging right in front of him? Or has he found our other man? Hopefully he didn't bring him here. Alright, let's get the will make it. Hopefully we can we can heal both Dwight and Jake. That would be pristine. Oh, he hit me. Okay. Oh my god, he's clean. He he heard the uh He heard the 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 ding dong. He's going to put me on this hook right here. Which is actually tragic for myself. Um he's he's looking around. He doesn't have deer stalker. He found that guy. So this guy's going to get me pulled. I thought that guy got hit first. I wanted to go for a flashlight save, but this wraith's pretty solid. We'll have to run the fuck away. No, I don't have Iron Will. I hear him. He's going to hear me healing, I'm pretty sure. Let's hope that doesn't happen. This guy just get pulled out of a locker. Please don't tell me that actually just happened. 
Oh no. Oh no, it's because the kindred went away. I was like, for a second, what is he doing? And then he was getting pulled out of the locker. And then uh, that would have been that would have been the worst thing possible. Um, so we do have the potential to get the hatch. On this, we've been hooked once. And get some goop. Please don't bring the wraith over here. I feel like he's bringing the wraith over here. Because this wraith is a pretty solid killer. Not gonna lie. Um, just trying to keep our eyes peeled. Because it is obviously harder to see the, the wraith because he's invisible. Uh, I would like to get my goop filled. I know there's some by little. That's probably our best bet, too, if we're trying to loop. Or get into some sort of chase. Well, he looks like he's on the other guy. Which sucks. I'm going to cleanse this totem. At rank 1, I find you don't get out super frequently unless you're playing Survive with Friends. So it's going to be just a goal from yourself to try to make... If you don't have teammates that are really, you know, doing much. Like, I've done the two gens in here. You need to be able to get enough points to make sure you can preserve your pip. Um, he got downed over there. Um, he's looking for me, I guess. Oh, that's clutch. That's so clutch. Adios. <laughs> what a hatch spawn. Holy jeez. That's crazy. <laughs> the most convenient hatch ever, question mark, just spawns right next to you. Yeah, it wasn't even about that life. Um, so we still kept our pip. Obviously, we didn't even get into a chase really that frequently. Um, just the one time we went down. So we didn't get to really loop them around. But that was one of those weird games where the uh, the killer was just basically destroying my team. So I, I got gold and survive and altruistic, silver and gen repairs. Um, because I was doing them mostly by myself, except the second one. Um, you get more points for having co-op. But if you look on here, he has... Uh, he had an Ivory Mori, so he could have killed me. He was running Bloodhound, Shadowborn, Sloppy Butcher, and uh, Unrelenting. So, these aren't that crazy, um, honestly. So, this is why he was going after the after the uh, Hurt Survivors, because Bloodhound actually makes it to where the, the fresh blood marks are considerably more discernible. And that's why he was chasing after the Hurt people on that, um, rather than the, the people who are just normal, even though they were close to him. It's kind of a tunneling strategy, but... It's okay, um, as you can see, not too many uh, points on our on our team, but A, we were able to maintain the rank one. Um, might not have been the most exciting game, but uh, it's, it's definitely one on here. We didn't get into too many chases. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more Survivor gameplay um, at rank one. I can see if we uh, can get a, a little bit more chase scenes in there. It usually happens when I play with my friends. I get chased a bunch, but didn't seem to happen in this one. But like I said, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. As always, been your boy Tony. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.